Well, I'm doing one of my favorite things to do is weasel trap. They're not big and jumpy like a coyote or catching a wolf or a wolverine or anything like that, but they are a very cool animal. And they're more vicious than all the others put together. You know, pound for pound, they are a really mean animal when they're still alive. <laughs> but got a one caught here in the box. Like I say, it's not jumping around and stuff. But, you know, they, they're cool. I mean, they turn white to brown to back to white. And, you know, uh, you know, there's a really cool animal to trap. And, you know, and the thing is, is they're kid size. So, you know, if you get have kids that you want to get out on the line, this is a good animal to do because, you know, you can pull up here, have the kids run down, check it, and they got a weasel in the box. I mean, how awesome is that? You know, and it, 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 they're kid sized. You know, it isn't like taking them out, you know, around a coyote that might spook them a little bit. This is a good starter thing, like taking them out pan fishing, you know. So what I'm doing is, is I'm just going to uh, switch the trap out. A lot of times what will happen is, is these weasels are very delicate. They'll get frozen in the trap. So if you go to pry this off, it, you know, you can rip them, break them, whatever. Especially the tails are real delicate. So this, I won't take this off because it looks like it's frozen in and I'll just reset this with a new trap. All I'm gonna do is I got beef liver in the back. I got some Dunlap weasel lure right here. You can see I had some Hellfire smeared up here just to get them to work in the area. The thing with these locations is, is there's, when you find these uh, culverts, it's in low ground where there's cattails and stuff like that. Just, you know, that's where they're hunting. There's mice, there's rabbits, there's muskrats, there's all kinds of squirrels, everything for them to eat. and. You know, they're going to be where the food is, just like, you, you know, you're going to be at a Chinese buffet. So you find these spots where they're going to filter under these roads and, you know, they're just good spots. The thing is, is what you don't want to do is if you take your box and put it in there on, on a flowing stream where it's froze, a lot of times these boxes will be warm up and they'll melt down into the ice. So piece, take a piece of styrofoam and put it underneath so they don't do that, unlike I did, you know, kind of like do as I say, not as I do type situation. Otherwise, carry a good axe with you. You should be chopping them out because that's usually what I end up doing. But the locations are key. Um, you know, like there's a culvert here. I got another culvert, culvert right here. If there's another one down there that looked like a good spot, I'm going to set them. Because the thing is, you see how short their legs are? They're not like a coyote that's traveling miles and miles. You know, where you set here and then you set miles away for them again. You know, so, I mean, with little legs like that, you could set a quarter of a mile and not be in the same area with the same weasel necessarily. Again, the short legs. So anyways, I'm gonna get this reset. All I'm gonna do is just put my trap right here, put the box down, push it right back in, and it's easy to go. Again, get kids out there doing this stuff if you have weasels in your area, and uh, you're gonna make trappers out of them.